What happens when a 12-year-old girl is put in charge of keeping an entire city safe? I have no idea. Let's find out. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kian, and welcome to Lil Guardsman. This is kind of our, our intro here. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. She's so smart. You've made the wrong choice. No! You didn't think things through. I hate that. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. Um... All right. Well, it seems like uh, I made the right choice. Will. 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 It was a bad. It was a bad dream. It was a bad dream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dad, I was. <laughs> oh, I must have been having a nightmare. Yeah. It's over now, sweetie. I love that we're living in a medieval world, and she has like a radio and a skateboard. She's shredding. There comes a time in every young person's life. Yes. Go on, Dad. Well, Dad, you don't have to do this. Yep. Yeah. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bed on the goblin. That's wall where I definitely thought that conversation was going. Aw, Dad, do I have to? Yes. Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I had a duty this morning, too. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bed at the goblin wall <laughs> match down at the pub. It's very important. But I'm 12. Tradition. Can we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on. I'll Great lesson. <laughs> Great <laughs> lesson, Dad. Good job. We got to learn how to do this job. I'm kind of scared that I'm going to burn down, down the whole city and everybody's going to be on fire after that lovely nightmare. That was fun. Oh, good. Everyone loves a tutorial. Tutorial time. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle... Dad, yes. Someone's coming. What do we do? Just, yeah, just uh, let okay. me learn on the job. The on the job learning. Doing. See? I just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Right. Good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. She, she seems pretty, day? pretty mundane. Plain and boring, as always. Perfect. Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. I love that everybody has voices, too. Good this thing. is awesome. Makes my job a lot easier. Never mind. She didn't know his now, name. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. State your business, lady. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once that's, a week. That's adorable. Oh, would you like one? Uh, sure. Are you bribe? Wait, are you bribing me, old lady? I don't trust her. After they state their business, but I will it's eat the biscuit. Call what to do next. Okay. You can select them and interrogate them. There's tools. The Seems phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get okay. It, right? Okay. I, Not really. Sort of. What do we need tools for? Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Dad, come I'm on, man. I'm inconveniencing you. Yes. Oh no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the okay. princess is really gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. What does that even mean? <gasps> she is. Sweet <laughs> jumping jitters. We gotta get to that game. These people Let's have a problem. Up, dear. Shamish, tell the girl what to do. All right. The name is Hamish. Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernet. <laughs> She's a funny old lady. Okay, these are my tools. Um, let's press you this use button. A wicked three thousand to make the big decision to let okay. someone in, or send them packing. Right on. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? Not yet. I need to know what this thing does. Didn't we cover this? That's my inventory. Action. Okay. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Sweet. Good to know. Phone. Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking right. for their help. But all they really give you is their opinion. Okay. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello. Okay. Hello, is somebody there? She seems very judgmental. I'm sure she'll let and nobody finally, in. The Royal Jester Malcolm. <laughs> chaos personified in human form. Incredible. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message. He looks like a psycho. You lost your goose, bro. Each call costs an action point. Okay. All right. Good to know. What is this thing? Our tools. tools. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Okay. I got my tools. Great. Don't know what any of them do. Why do I have a whip? What, it, what does that do? No humming. No humming allowed? That's rude. 
X-ray? This X-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, okay. and bone. Okay. It uses low-grade radiation. Don't use it on trolls. Truth spray. I'm spray kind of interested to know what happens if Honestly, we do. Honestly, All right, make some tell the truth. You can use this decoder ring to decode things. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure how it works. The instructions were written in some time. You have to decode the instructions to learn how to use the decoder ring. How do you ever do it's it? It's a metal detector. You I figure don't know. it out. Metal detector. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we got this bulletin board. The Royal Writ. It's the first thing you look at. Lots of information. All right. I think I'm ready to really so fail at this job. Let's go. <laughs> I am finished with the tutorial. You can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn. Okay. But sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can. Yeah, that makes sense. Means necessary. Okay. Select and hold to make your decision. Admit. Okay. Deny. This one is broken. What does that do? There's like a picture thing. Okay. All right. Well, we will admit her. She's a, a lovely old lady. Maybe she'll bring down the whole city. I don't know. Oh, it spits out a like a passport. Okay, I love that. Great job, Lil. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. Time to put on my big kid pants. More like Great. being forced to do this. Here we go. It's only for I'm today. I'm kind I of swear. scared. Come meet me in the tavern. Good luck with your illegal gambling. <laughs> I don't need luck. If the Cast Guard Corp can achieve a good star rating this month, there will be a pizza party. Let's go. Guardsman Randy, 35 years at his post. He must be the old. Charmed Who's this guy? To make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. It's quite the introduction. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom. Ah, yeah, I read about this. Guild. I read. I, this was on this thing. Okay, so so Councilwoman Ash, there will be a demonstration in the city square yet, blah, 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 blah. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. So should I just go straight to calling her or should I like ask him a what's question? Your about? Yeah, what's your oh, speech about? Child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body and my speech therefore would only serve to confuse and frighten you. Pretentious. I don't like you. Let's tease him. The only one confused is you about how frightened you are of me. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's so Maybe bad. I really need to work on my teasing. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're going to work on that. I one. admire your bravery, uh -huh. but you walk a fine line between bravery and foolishness. Okay. Be warned. No. Oh. So that was one of my action points. Let's call Ash. Hey, I got one of your weirdos. No, I got this. I can read. Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. Fair enough. You're good to go, man. I don't know if I'm making a mistake, but I'm sending him. He was kind of a jerk, and I don't really like him. The house of Thanatos and but he's not my problem anymore. Still, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Okay. Sweet. I'm kind of not bad at this. I read the writ and followed the orders. Three stars. Okay. Next customer, please. Oh, my. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from the no good, stingy, low life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating wife of an ex-husband, Orlando. Okay. All right. Sounds like you got a lot of great things to say about him. On this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kid sent me. Okay. Believe me, I I'm supposed love to read to that. Have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's having a rough day. Let's let's. It was his week see. with them. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend Callie's week with them. Okay. The the plot thickens. Do you want to know what the kids say about her? They say she's fun. Oh no. I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. Oh. Like, his oh. writing is so lousy. Maybe I can decode it. I trust that you. That letter was pretty much illegible. See what I mean? Horrible, horrible penmanship. They are kids. So, if I use this, you take a closer look at Denise's letter. Yes, we are, we are decoding. Decode the mysterious hieroglyphs of a four-year-old. I don't know how to 
to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. What does it mean? Come, son, mommy. Kelly is nightmare. Oh, Kelly isn't so good. My boys don't know how to spell. <laughs> but also that thing about Kelly being the worst. She's a nightmare. Go save your kids, lady. I think she's good to go. Let's let her through. I hope that she can sort things out with Kelly. Kelly sounds awful. Thanks. You're welcome. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. Good luck. Those are some great names. Good use of the decoder ring. I got three stars. <laughs> and I knew not to stand in the way of a mama bear and her cubs. Yes. Well, sir, the guard. Who's this grumpy old man? Oh! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip. Welp. I don't like you. Yes, sir. Be nice. Now, you child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. BS waits for no man. BS. BS? That's his name. Bank of the Sprawl. Oh, Bank well, of the Sprawl. What kind of business do you have? Yeah, with what the bank kind of today, business sir? do you have with the bank? I shan't be hearing the details of my BS appointment <laughs> with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Okay. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child. Can we also, just real quick, I just noticed that's the Master Sword from The Legend of Zelda just sitting in the back of this, this little guard tower. He shouldn't threaten to whip people. Actually, that reminds a little of her toolkit. Do. Do we use our whip? I doubt you. I don't think you're allowed to not tell me what your business is. Yeah. Insolence. Yeah. But sir, it's only a deposit. Deposit? One more outburst and it will be back in the cage with you. Now, okay, so there's a written here about undercover uh, elderly people. Trafficking what? illegal drugs. We need to be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparent. I mean, that is definitely somebody's grandparent. Do we bust out the whip? Cause he keeps using the whip or, or do we x-ray the box? No, you know what? I'm using the whip. I'm using it. Oh, <laughs> strike fear into their souls. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. What is blood gold? You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? What is that? Isn't that illegal? It's bad. It sounds like it's bad. He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody, bloody gold. gold. Uh -huh. It's a form of slang you right. must have picked up from somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? Mm. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, Little sir. sus. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. Yeah. Confiscate. I think I need to hold on to these. My decision will have an effect on the sprawl. What? 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 You greedy little urchin. I think I like you more. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. it's not like that. Uh, I'm not oh, keeping it. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Oh. Okay. The, the, now, hmm. since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let me pass. Should I let him pass? I'm kind of tempted to, to blast him with the truth serum. You know what? Let's hit him. Let's see what he has to say. Are you smuggling illegal items? Tonight, after the bank of the sprawl has closed for the day, I am being met by the head teller, Mr. Dung, who will be escorting me Mr. to my Dung. safety deposit box. Okay. Once inside, I have a rather sizable deposit of gold bullion being carried by my darling servant, Welp. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do any of this without him, but I will never let my secret love show. <laughs> he loves him. <laughs> All right. Uh, nothing. Oh, master, I knew you That's cared. Adorable. So he's just mean, just because he just he just wants his whelp to have the best life he could possibly have, and he's kind of a jerk about it. Let's let him through. He's not smuggling anything illegal. I feel bad that I took the gold, the blood gold, but I don't know what else I was supposed to do. So here we are. 
um, starting off strong by kind of doing things bad. Silence. Nobody was talking to you. Goodness. Keep slapping him. Respect, sir, but you were talking to me. He is right. Don't be impertinent. Okay. I hated that dude. One star. You found out he was trafficking in blood gold and you let him in anyway. Mm. All right, yeah, you know, um, in hindsight, probably should have taken more action. Okay, yeah, well, let's um, let's pretend that never happened. Just move on. Next customer, please. Oh, the phone's ringing. Oh gosh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm not in trouble. She seems nice. What a name! Goodness gracious. It's me, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Why? Okay, and where exactly is? She didn't. She hung up. She didn't tell me. What, what dig site? Who's this guy? Why, hello there. I have come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. Okay. After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the sprawl? Okay. Huh, I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches, what a Garby name, man. Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name. I like That's it. That's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Yeah. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Do I confiscate it? Or do I, I think I just return it. I mean, it looks legit to me. He's right. Everything is in order. Okay. Should I, I ask him what's in the briefcase? The mix and figure out what kind of merchant this place really needs. Okay. Since I was a boy selling lemonade, when life literally gave me lemons, I've dreamed of maximizing profits and keeping overhead low. Okay. L let's try some teasing. That sounds like a pretty messed up childhood. <laughs> Says the unaccompanied child at the castle gate. You did kind of get me there. I did get got. See, you get it. Once I've set up shops selling, well, whatever I decide to sell, I'll be sure to give you a discount. Sick. I look forward to buying... Uh, something. Something. Great. This guy doesn't seem all that bad, but maybe I should use the, uh, the x-ray to see what's in the briefcase. I don't know. I'll just go metal detector. Wait, did we get anything? Was that a hit? I was sure that I would detect something. We didn't get anything. I sent all my belongings ahead of me with everything I'll need to set up shop. Okay. I don't really care about that. I don't really care whether or not you really care. Great. What a profound conversation. But let's hit him with the x-ray. I already checked. This person isn't hiding any. Okay. Even the game is like, you're trying too hard. Let's let him through. I'm probably doing a pretty bad job, but at least I'm doing a job. Can you smell that? What? The trash barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. The smell only lingers for a couple of days. Not the reek of filth and decay. <laughs> That's the reek of opportunity. Oh. See you around. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. I got three stars. You've paved the way for an eager entrepreneur to succeed at capitalism. Hoorah! That's day one complete, I think. We did... Five of five. No more folks. Time to close up shop. Great job, Lil. You did let in a, a blood gold smuggler, but you know, it's your first day. Due to your good job performance, you were paid 20 gold. Sweet. Now we need to go to the dig site, I guess. This lady has got an insane looking lab. Oh, I can move around. Interesting. Let's let's talk to the lady. Whatever her name oh was. She had a very long behind? name. The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. Just sitting in the box? Psycho. No, I'm the guardsman. No, you called me. I'm Lil. We spoke on the phone. Yeah. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Ah, uh, of course, Lil. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No, I don't. No. <laughs> Trust me, you will. Who are you? Who are you again? Doctor yeah, Mark right. West She's... Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological research at the Royal Academy. How do you fit that all on one business card? But you can call me B. Okay, that's better. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Yes, Would you I'd like, like the to long know. or short version? Oh gosh. Let's go short and sweet. It's a hole in the ground where we get power crystals from. Sick. Oh, th that's what powers my tools. Okay. 
What's this got to do with me? I'm an expert in the advanced properties of power crystals. Yeah. And my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Okay, cool, okay. I guess. But again, what does this have to do with me? Yeah, Lila, yeah, yeah. I have found move along. how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the Chronometer 3000? <laughs> time travel? And what I need to know from you is... Do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Heck yeah! Me! Oh, me! Me, me, me! <laughs> Let's go! Wonderful. But before you go off and start pushing buttons willy-nilly, let me oh. explain how I came across this incredible new discovery. I was very excited to press as buttons. As you might say. Willy-nilly. It's what I do. It really wants me to push the button, and I'm not going to press it. Microscope, blah, 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 <laughs> We're not even hearing her anymore. Blah. All right, just press the button. We're pushing the buttons. <laughs> Can I undo all the mistakes I made yesterday? Wait, what? Where am I? What just happened? Did I? I did just go back in time, didn't I? Freak out. Yeah, let's freak out. Now I'm back here somehow? Oh, quick, quick pants, pants check. check. No pee at least. Sweet. Great. That's a win. Keep what freaking out. What's going on about? That device thingy? Okay, pick up the phone. It's going to be her, right? Good afternoon. This yep. is Dr. Marquez, Beatrix von Matterhorn. Yeah, saw that coming. May I ask, am I speaking? This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. No. I need one of you gate guards this is to not come down us meeting. As soon as you can. This is not us What's meeting. What's going on? Don't you remember? She hung up. Again. Well, if nothing else, she's consistent. Do I, I gotta deal with this dude again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your name is Gravy Blanchers. Gravy Blanchers, yep, oh, blah, blah, I blah. My reputation precedes me. Yes, God. exactly. This is so weird. I swear, I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. I wish I had this opportunity with the old I'm man. I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? That's what I'm trying to decide, Garbs. I did everything right with him, though. Here's my vendor license issued by the sprawl board of... Right, yep. And it's it's good. He's so right. give everything it back is... to him. Okay. I need to get this guy processed and get my butt back to the dig site. Okay. Let him through. Whatever. We know. He's, he's going to start a lemonade stand or something. He doesn't know what he's starting. I need to get back to the dig site to figure out what just happened. Yes. All right, back to the dig site. Let's talk to the lady. She's going to act like... She doesn't know us, and I don't know where oh this is gonna go. You left right, blah blah blah. Leave listen. me in the leave me in the oh, box. Lil from the phone call earlier, of yep. course. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Highly yes. regular. I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. <laughs> My name is Doctor Marquess. Yes, I know. It's, I'm gonna call you B. School for smart people. Mm -hmm. You said I can call you Trixie. No, B. This before. B. I'd prefer if you called me B. Yeah. And not this Trixie. is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make Right. Then Time machine. You baited me with promises of adventure. <laughs> pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your <laughs> little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Any questions? Time travel? Wait, why am I asking you questions? Yeah, that is kind of weird. If this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the chronometer? Yes, I've seen it. Chronometer 3000. Wait, where did it go? Oh, no. Do you mean this? Oh, I have it. My invention. How did you get that? You gave it to yeah. me. Yeah. Well, not really, but you were going to give it to me, I think. You were in the <laughs> middle of explaining. And you, you were, were saying a lot of big by words. the glowing red button. Mm -hmm. Can you blame me? Mm -mm. Yes. But it is a good button. Mm -hmm. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. Oh. So now we're just a time-traveling, adventuring little 12-year-old. At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype. And I need a willing gate guard to use the device. Okay. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Well, yeah, what do you mean by right, right people? Right people? Individuals or groups that would improve the daily life of the inhabitants of the sprawl okay. rather than those who would see harm come to the community and castle. So like the old man that had a chest full of blood gold, like probably not the best person to let into the sprawl. You'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. 
All right, fair enough. So it'll basically give me the opportunity to like Furthermore, redo default, the someone, will automatically right? Allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. Okay, so I could do the whole. I, I could do the whole I shift again. It a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Sweet. Hack is the key word, though. Okay. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. All right, go do I your science. Get out of here. No I'm pressure. Tired of talking you to you. I want to judge Just people. It's getting pretty late. I should head home. All right, let's go home. Get some rest. Move on to the next day. Oh, hello, father. Hey, hey, there she is. My hardworking angel face, sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. Yep, that's me. You didn't win your gambling, did you? Something no, tells me but it wasn't my not. fault. The other team was just too good. Right. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet. So he's going to do it again the next day, and then I have to the work. End. And now we don't have any left. Hey, Lil, did you take any bribes or pickpocket <laughs> anyone today? Yes, I was a good little criminal. Should I give him the gold bars? I'm going to do it. I'm leaning into the evil, to the criminal life, I guess. Here's your gold bars. I, got this I should not. I should 100% not use this. And walloping? Oh, gosh. I don't think he likes his work. Yeah. This is perfect. Arda, no questions. Everybody. No Be questions. Right after I call my guy. Thanks again, Lil. You better get upstairs to bed, Missy. You Good have night. a problem, Dad. You have a problem. Good night. Twisted Sisters Tavern. What a place to live. All right, let's go to Ooh, bed. I'm pooped. That's enough adventure for one day. I'm ready to. I mean, the that sleep. was a serious first day on the job. We learned how to time travel. Enough said. On her way to the bar, Mrs. Abernathy accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing her to be late to make a bet on the big goblin ball game. Her grandson's inheritance is safe for now. Those tutorials, they come out of nowhere. Tyronius Athanatos gave his keynote speech at the festival, right? He is indebted to Councilwoman Ash for her influence in the facilitating his smooth admittance to the sprawl. Okay. This, okay, yet Denise de Cyclops, after Denise picks up her kids, she moved them safely out of view, but not earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. Yeah, get her, mom. Yeah. Grumpkin T. Dankworth. He unloaded his illegal blood gold into the bank of the sprawl. The outright success of his errand caused him to ramp up production at his illegal blood gold mines. Things were sure starting to look up in the world of illegal blood gold mining. Glad I could do my part. Oh, gosh, what have I done? He found a vacant plot of land in the alley behind the Twisted Sisters Tavern and set up his Emporium of Wonders. Ooh, I love it. You're listening to the Morning Crawl, the number one morning show. Morning Crawl. Great. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co-host, The Ham, who I will remind you is a live pig. Incredible. I got a note from Dad. Dear Lil, come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Incredible. And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. What is this guy talking about? Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Stop saying words. Any quest Many questions. <laughs> I have all the questions. Who hey, are Dad, you? I got your note. What's going on? Yeah. I have no idea. Due to some recent irregularities, any guardsman who does not receive an above two star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. That seems pretty harsh. Okay. But I need my job for gambling. I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. I've been authorized to award above average job performance. Ooh. With cash bonuses, cash bonuses for performing better really than money? four stars? Let's go. You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals. Sweet. I got my crystals for the power tools. Okay. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Cool. Well, all Have fun. Except Randy. He's been terminated. Oh, poor Randy. Not Randy. All right, let's get to work. I want to do guards duty stuff. Whatever. I, I really want to travel in time. That's kind of what I'm into. But whatever. Sounds let's like just, let's just move on. Your job better. All right. Day number two. Let's do this. Oh, I have to choose what I recharge? Oh, man. Okay. Um, the decoder seemed good. I'm going to use everything that I got. There you go. 
Oh. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been Seamus McGoblin. Work in the sprawl. I like him. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Okay, you got some paint. I read something about paint. Rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of serial arsonists, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Okay, I need to call Malcolm. Let's just let's you let's chat you. a little bit. Are you like an artist? Yeah. Me. An artist? No, ma'am. He's a painter. I have a real job. I'm a painter. Okay. An artist. <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. I'm glad. I trust him. You may laugh, but I'm sure that you're an artist at heart. <laughs> I'll have to tell Mrs. McGoblin that. <laughs> She'll never believe she's been married to an artist all these years. That's adorable. I love this guy. And it's mostly because of his accent. All right, let's call Malcolm. I got your artist. Well, about time he showed up. Yep. Send him to my office, toot sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Ooh, <laughs> yay. Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo after all. Okay, that dude is insane. All right, send him through. I don't need to do anything else, right? That's a three star. That's an easy three star. Many thanks. You're welcome. See, before I go... Do you have a favorite color? Let's go blue. I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting blue in your honor. Nice! Thank the you dungeons again. are gonna be blue for me. That's what an honor. You let him do his job. What do you want, a parade? Actually, kind of. And I do see this button, rewind. So we don't need to do that because we got three stars, but... I do appreciate that we know how that thing works now. Sort of. Who the heck are you? I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. Okay. Prince oh my goodness, he's so handsome. Son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, right, daughter right. of King Rupert. Three hours later. Okay, Thank great. you. Wow. Okay, yeah. I think I got it. Yep. Please stop. Okay, now I have a picture of the prince. I guess prince I'll talk Phineas to him. himself would arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the royal sulfur mines of Petrard. Okay. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front. <laughs> All right, I don't really care. Let's tease him. I guess you weren't important enough to go to the big party, huh? Ooh. As a matter of fact, the prince assured me it was much more important that I travel all the way here to announce his eventual arrival. <laughs> And you bought that? What a job. I did until just this moment. <laughs> All right. Poor guy. Uh, is there anything written about this in the royal writ? Expect the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for an alliance with the sprawl? It's two, not one, not three, but two. Are you an envoy? You seem envoyish. Between the great kingdom of Petra oh, yeah. and the sprawl yeah. would benefit both sides mightily. Okay, I need to Imagine keep talking to him. The petrol and gunpowder our mm -hmm. sulfur mines produce, right. combined with the technological advancements that your power crystals provide, oh. would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the world. All right. He's very passionate about this. Let's trust I him. I guess a wedding would bring our two kingdoms closer together. Right. Undoubtedly, vows made in wedlock are never broken. And now, in celebration of the beginning of this new chapter of prosperity between the kingdoms oh, no. of Petrad and the Sprawl, he's going to play me I a shall song. Play you an original composition of my own on the Petradian greeting bugle. If music not a trumpet of love, then you know what to do and a two and a three. Oh boy. All right. It wasn't that bad. I love it. Bravo! Bravo! Yeah, give him the thumbs up. Oh, thank you, kind child. Uh -huh. You know, I could have been the first bugle in the Petrardian Orchestra <laughs> if we had an orchestra. Now, the, I, I have a Do dilemma you know here. The music director in the sprawl looking for a man with good embouchure? I don't know what I'll that keep means. Look out for that. I like this dude, and the thing said there should be two. Not one, not three, not four. But two, I don't think I can let him through. I, I must deny you. As much as I, it pains me to do so, um, you have been denied. 
because there's only one of you. Let's see if this was the right choice. I was assured entry so I could announce the eventual arrival right. of Prince Phineas Pom. Right, Ugh, but there should be two fine. of you. I will go, but there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me, seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. If you won't let me in, you must not let in the Marvog delegate either. It's oh. only fair. I didn't realize this was a fairness game. Okay, well... We'll come to that when it comes around. You denied a high-ranking visiting dignitary. He'll probably paperwork his way back into another gate. But you definitely screwed up. But he, there's only one of him! Okay, we're rewinding time. We're redoing our interaction with this guy. I'm basically going to do everything exactly the same, except I'm going to let him through. All right, we let him through. I... I hope that I'm making the right decision this time, but I can't help but feel like, you know, it's slightly off because there's only one of him, or whatever. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold. Oh, now he's okay, he's trying to bribe me. Remember, do not let in. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You admitted an admittingly annoying ambassador. Okay. Great job, me. Three stars. Next! Good afternoon, child. I would Hello. like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. Antonio Banderas, is that you? AKA Puss in Boots? Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. It is a little they weird. Do, yes. But they do not match the standards of my previous hat. Oh. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. Okay. I cannot go back. It they're all right. I'm gonna doubt you. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough. Yeah. I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. This sprawl is my last hope. Okay. He's a little sussy. Let's hit him with the truth serum. Why are you really here? Tell me the truth. She was too much. Too fantastic for one man to wear. He's very fixated on this hat. such a prestigious piece of headwear. Okay. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I threw it away. Why? Why? What? what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. Oh my gosh. And now I must find a new hat of equal, if greater worth than my previous hat. How? I can only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic how did, hat. How did we do this? I mean. Head, as they say. Yep, we're true. What do we do? He seems legit. In his purpose. Let's talk this to him one more time. Must have been something oh, it was. It was the most fantastic hat you had ever seen. That is how I acquired my name. Oh. Signor Capello Fantastico. Fantastico. What does I that love mean? him. Mr. Fantastic Hat. Mm. I trust you. That's a very fitting name. It is. Alas, it was. My good name must be restored. All right. Get your hat, man. I'm in this with you. Let him through. I'm sold. I'm so in. Get this man a beautiful hat so he can restore his name, his title, hat, his Mr. everything. Fantastico. Yeah. Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Wow, has that guy got a fantastic new hat? I hope so. Heck yeah. Your interrogation led to him bearing his soul to you, and you gave the man a second chance to find the headdress of his dreams. I feel so accomplished today. All right, next customer. Oh my. I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl, uh -huh. from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. Uh-huh, you, you are a scary lady. Hail Praetor Cargan, Kapla! I'm supposed to not let you in, and then I get paid. But I kind of want to try 19 it. 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your princess. My goodness. I the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect. Oh. As is our custom. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for that. That is... That is someone's head. I don't know. Doesn't look that mighty to me. <laughs> Besides, really? How do I know that you didn't just find this on your way here? Foolish child, you think the streets are littered with the decapitated heads of defeated warriors? It's possible. I don't know what your streets are like. Well, I can assure you they are not. The heads that litter the streets of Marvag are typically 
puny and weak, not mighty warrior <laughs> heads like this. Okay. Now take the head. I, oh gosh, I have a head in my inventory now. That's fun. That is so fun. Let's continue the interrogating her. Attending the ballet tonight. Upon its completion, Praetor Cargan will make for the sprawl. Right. Oh, so the Praetor's coming here later tonight? Not likely. In Marvog, the ballet can last days, weeks even. It continues until only one dancer survives. My gosh, this place the seems awesome. The sports in the Marvog and <laughs> what are these people? Are high in the main square. Oh that my gosh. Yeah. Is there a prize for um, winning the winning ballet? Winning the ballet. Indeed, there is. Mm. The winner is put directly into the line of success. Wow. Praetor Cargan was one of the finest ballerinas I have ever witnessed. Incredible. Slaughtered dozens of other would-be ballerinas with a grace and beauty that brought the tear to my eye. I'm sure it was quite the sight. Sorry, what exactly was the message you had? Praetor Cargan crafted the message personally. Yeah, what is this message? The Can you translate it? Yeah, in my language. Marriage, which will bring our two proud nations into a state. Oh, okay, all right. That is the closest translation, even though it loses some of the beauty it has in our tongue. Right. You speak our language very well. Could you teach me something in Marvogian? Yeah. It's just Marvog, not in or rights or ease or anything like that. What would you like to learn? Quiet. Mm, I'm thinking. This is difficult. I believe the closest would be. Migawat Nabraha. Migawat Nabraha. Come for you by my hand. They don't hold back in that cool. language, huh? All right. I like this lady. I really want to let her through. Uh, like, she seems pretty insane and kind of awesome, but also, like, I get paid, but it's a bribe and it's like a bad thing to do. I'm going to let her through. I'm going to let her through. I'm going to let her through. Mostly because of that beautiful story she told me about all the ballerinas killing each other. It's, it's amazing. You have honor, little one, and shall always be a friend of the Marvog. Heck yeah. And now to fulfill my mission to speak the Praetor's words to the princess. Kapla! Kapla! I did get three stars. And I learned a new phrase in Marvog. I'm learning languages. Hello. Whoa, <laughs> um, what's going on with that horse? Salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl. Uh huh. I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor. This renown, is the envoy, huh? Which is also me. Okay. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona, as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. Okay. Okay. If Great. If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. I need to ask you some questions. Like, what the heck is going on with that freaky horse you've got? So, okay, let, let's let's talk to her. Princess Desdemona mm -hmm. was going to be entertaining potential suitors. Yes. I knew my days of jousting and dragon slaying were behind me. You're cosplaying, bro. That's not a real joust. I saddled up my faithful steed, Lucy, and Lucy, rode huh? hard across the realm. Mm -hmm. For thrice three days we rode, stopping only to aid those that in nine distress days? <laughs> and relieve ourselves. Right, of course. Now, we are here to exclaim our dearest devotion to the beautiful princess, the mm -hmm. fairest flower in a whole field of fair flowers. You have a way with words. I doubt you it. You really don't look like the dragon slaying type. Just saying. Looks can be deceiving. By my eyes, you don't look like the castle guarding type. That's kind of fair. This is my dad's job. I'm filling in. You're proving my point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a smart little girl. All right, I gotta use the X-ray machine on the horse. Yep, yeah, there are people inside of there. Mm -hmm. Um, what's with the horse? Uh huh. Yeah. My noble. Would you like to elaborate Lucy? on Lucy? I don't know how to say this, but that horse is two people in a costume. Oh, turns out I do know how to say it. Right. Who are the two people? We told you this wouldn't work. Can we get our ten bucks now? Oh my gosh. Have you, you ever met Princess Desdemona? Gonna, yeah, explain what's going on here. <sighs> Alack a day, I have not. Tis but a glimpse of her I have yet beheld, mm. but that image has drawn me here like a moth to a forest fire. Ah. All right, this dude she wants is you to come and marry her if weird. she's never met you before. Yeah. In that glimpse of her, I could see she was longing for true love to come and save her from her world of loneliness. Yeah, 
I don't think that's how glimpses work. Yeah. I don't think I should let him through. Sorry, buddy. I know you're sincere in everything, but, like, it might be a little out of your league. Sorry. I understand. Yes. You are being controlled by powerful forces <laughs> and simply following orders. Right. But know this. There is no force more powerful than love. That was beautiful. Well said. You have not seen the last of Beverly. I hope not. Custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. Beverly. On, Lucy. All right. Shut up, Beverly. <laughs> he wasn't a real envoy, and that definitely wasn't a real horse. Masterful deduction there, guardsman. I sense your sarcasm, computer. Hey, okay. Kid, are you Lil? Yes, I am Lil. Who's asking? Wow. No, okay, that's me. Okay, good. Got a mysterious letter here for you? Oh. Who's it from? I'm not authorized to know. Oh. That is mysterious. It is. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Yeah. Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Yeah, he got fired. Only three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I got to get back to work. Okay. See you around, kid. See you around. What is this letter? Little girl, little girl stands at a gate making choices I can't wait. If you've got a taste of madness in which to circumvent great sadness, come and meet me after dark. Together we make our stamp on the world. What, who the heck is this? M. Nothing weird or creepy about that. That was super creepy. Where's that music coming from? What is happening? Good afternoon, I've traveled from afar A simple girl who wished upon a star Inside this castle lies my fate Perhaps I'll even get a date <laughs> To my old life I sing au revoir And you are? Oh my gosh this has turned into a Disney movie, but let's not let this lady fool us, okay? Sure, she has a beautiful singing voice. She's elegant and seems very kind. What is this red stuff all over her dress? Let's dig a little bit more. Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in, but so far I'm not optimistic. Yeah. Do you have any idea or anything? Yeah, who the heck are you? Go, go on. Just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move the plot along faster. That is fair. I say we use the metal detector on her. She's got like knives under her apron. What did that do? What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, that's just Fosse. Uh huh. What is so Fosse? It looks like a blowtorch. What fun! You psycho! I'm taking it. Friends shouldn't take things from one another. I guess we're not friends then. N no. That makes me a little bit nervous for you, Lil. Oh gosh. Okay, I've had about enough of you. <laughs> this lady is a psycho. Let's talk so to her. Thrilled to finally be here in the sprawl. Are you? The people, the culture. The She's people. an arsonist. She wants. Yeah, she wants to burn the whole city down, huh? Not no. I have to say, I'm losing patience. <laughs> First, you seem so innocent, but still, uh -huh. I have a hunger driving me. The people everywhere will see. Oh, this My is insane. I will Your dark destiny, huh? Okay. Well, that took a dark turn. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Lil. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. No, we're not. Can you just tell me and not sing it? Yeah. Nope. Ah. <laughs> uh, here she goes. All so true. Why I ventured here to you is that I am a thief. Okay. Thank you for being honest. Go on. For smuggling drugs and piracy. Wow. Setting many fires and causing grief. So much grief. 
incredible. <laughs> Because you're singing it doesn't make any of that remotely okay. No, no, it doesn't. But it is a good song. Send her to prison, please? Like, I want to do more than deny her. I want to just, like, never see her again. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I see now that you aren't my friend. No, my time we never were. Is about to end. Mm hmm You really nailed that musical number, um, and I am scared. Despite this songbird's sweet serenade, you correctly identified a homicidal maniac and managed to take away her toy. Good job. All right. I'm good at my job. I did an awesome thing today. I saved the town from being turned into a fiery nightmare. Is that... Wait. Due to your... I didn't make it to four... I didn't get the bonus. Good, but not perfect. And I saved the city. Today. 